Well, hello friends, welcome back, welcome back. This is your part-time reseller. And these next few days, maybe a week or two, are going to be very, very um, productive for me. Uh, something I've been uh, putting off and finally going to sit down and do it. Number one, my taxes, I'm coming to the end. Um, I had to do the business part of the taxes, which um, I'm still learning. I'm in that whole learning process of understanding, you know, about inventory. And I've come to the conclusion that I'm not going to carry over any inventory from the previous year. I'm just going to either donate it or sell it off. So I have zero inventory. You know, there's a spot on our forms. I think it's Schedule C. I'm not sure. Well, you have to talk, you have to discuss your inventory, you know, what you carried over from the previous year. And I was trying to figure that out and I was going crazy trying to figure it out and say, well, you know what? We're just not going to have any inventory at the beginning of the year. And the other thing is consignment, consignment, consignment. As the little thumbnail shows you, I'm going to Buffalo Exchange, Crossroads, The Real Real. I may send some things into Thread Up. But um, I've really got to move some inventory, some 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 um, garments that are um, have have been sitting for a long time. I'm going all the way back to 2022 and pull whatever I have left over from 2022, whether that's pottery, clothing, shoes, whatever, and I'm either going to donate it or uh, we're going to send it off to some kind of consigner, consignment shop and see if we can sell it off. Okay, so let's get into this first part. Again, um, in the next few days, I'm going to the Real Real. We have a Real Real in Chicago, so I, I made an appointment to go there on the 26th. And of course, if you've done business with the Real Real, you know they wanna know what are you bringing in? So these are the items I'm going to bring in. Uh, this is Lafayette 148. I think you saw this on one of my previous um, videos. This is a 33 cent item. Now Lafayette 148, for me, whenever the real real sells it, I really don't get that much of a profit from the sale. But for 33 cents, um, even if I get $2, I'll be happy. <laughs> Um, normally these jackets, uh, you know, they can range all the way up to a hundred dollars, uh, on the real, real and the real, real gives you 50%. Then they start to discount it more and more and more the longer it sits in their closets. So this is Lafayette 148. This is Lafayette 148. And the same thing with this. I don't know what they're going to, what they're going to price it at. Uh, I'll get 50%. The first 30 days and then after that they start to discount and send out coupons and what have you so um i'm not left with a lot of money as i mentioned but uh it's more than what i paid for which was 33 cents all right this is oscar de la renta and i went online first of all they are accepting oscar de la renta this is a very long gown um and it is not vintage because it's made in China. But I went on their site and it's selling, I saw a gown that sold for like $100. So I'm not really sure what this will bring in terms of uh, price and profit. Uh, I did pay, I think about eight or $9 for this at unique it was half off so again if you know if i can get a little bit more money for this gown i'll be happy um it is not selling online i've had it since last year now the last thing i'm going to take them are a pair of donald pliner shoes i'm going to show you these very very smart very very good looking shoes i think i paid $3 for these shoes. 
And these pliners on the real reel are priced from like forty to sixty dollars. Um, in very very good condition, just a sweet little pump. So if it sells, I will, um, or I should say, not if it sells, if they accept it, because if they accept it, it will sell. <laughs> um, I will let you know. Um, so this is the first video. I'm going to pull some more items out that I'm going to take to Crossroads and Buffalo Exchange, hopefully next week. And I'm going to merge all of these videos together. So I'm going to show them to you one, one part, then two, part two, then part three. So just hold on. We're coming back. And I just want to remind you, please give me a thumbs up on your way out. Bye-bye. Good morning, everybody. Happy St. Patrick's Day to you. And um, it's that time again. This is my second trip to the consignment this year. And I believe it's called vlog number two consignment. So um, I'm going to show you the items that I'm going to take to uh, the BST um, Crossroads, Buffalo Exchange, and maybe one more. And you just saw the video about the real real. I'm taking, I have an appointment to see them in a couple of weeks. So these items that I'm showing you first are less than a dollar. I pay less than a dollar. I'm also going to try to discuss why they're not selling, why I think they're not selling. Well, this first, first one, I haven't really had it online for a long time. This is REI. It's an athletic top. I just put it online maybe a couple of weeks ago. But I think for 33 cents, I can take my chances and see if um, uh, one of the consigners will accept it. And the second item that you're seeing is the limited. It's a blouse. I thought it was a really, really nice blouse. I can't find anything wrong with it. I can't find any dirt, any stains, any rips or tears. So I don't know why they won't accept this um, blouse. I'm going to ask them why, because I've taken it to them uh, several times. All right, I have a Danskin athletic top before I get to the Juicy Couture. And this was less than a dollar. So uh, Danskin, I know, is not, a, how should I say it, a really high resale brand because it's sold in... Um, I think TJ Maxx and Marshalls, and um, but I thought the color was real pretty. And I thought, you know, since they accept a lot of athleisure wear, that this would fit in with what they're looking for. Maybe not. All right, so the next item is Juicy Couture. And this was, I think, less than a dollar. I just went by the name and the price, and I still think it's a nice little top. Um, not selling, not getting any views. All right, these next three items I'm going to show you are my own personal items that I'm taking in, and uh, if they don't accept this, then I'll probably just donate it. But you still want to see if you can get a little bit of money back and I, again, apologize for my blinds, but that's where the light is coming in. All right, so we have um, the Black Crows. That's the first one that I'm showing you. And this is a sweatshirt. This was an impulse buy. I think I wore it maybe four or five times, and that was it. I was done with it. The next one is um, the Avenue, a blouse, nothing spectacular about this blouse, um, just your basic. And uh, I've had it for years, and yes, I'm ready to let go of it because I've moved on with um, a different style. 
and we have Banana Republic. This again was an impulse buy. I was in Banana Republic and they had, I believe, a 50% off sale, something like that. So I decided to uh, just buy it. And I think I've worn this shirt maybe three or four times. All right, so uh, I'm going to take a pair of dad pants into them. And these are Hagar's. I don't know if they are accepting dress pants from Hagar. Uh, we'll try it and see. And we're going to take in a pair of 90 degree leggings. Uh, these are the ones I just picked up from the village. And if you saw my last video where I ranted about um, their colors of the week, uh, you can go through my playlist, which is linked below and see that video. <laughs> Uh, Wilson men's athletic pants. I think this will be accepted. Summer is here or just about here and already people and, uh, you know, the runners and walkers are out and, you know, people are going to the gym. So, um, I think that this will be accepted. I thought it was a good buy. It was less than a dollar or a dollar. All right, bear with me while I show you some other items. And um, this last one is a $1 item. It is a Banana Republic pair of women's pants. And I thought this was sell. I think I paid a dollar for this. I thought that these would, um, because Banana Republic, I have very good, um, very good success, success with their pants, women's and men's pants. But, um, oh, I don't know. You know, it's that time of the year, as I mentioned in my earlier videos, that uh, we're doing our taxes. I have a big tax bill. And I'm looking at this tax bill that I have to pay, and I'm like, I don't even know if I want to be a reseller anymore because, you know, it's taking quite a chunk out of um, what I uh, earned. And I'll see this next year how things go because I may just give this up. Um, I couldn't, there were very few credits I could take on my taxes. Um, very few business credits because I don't really have, like, a storage unit. I don't own a home. Uh, you know, all of those things that you're used to uh, getting credits for. Uh, that's not me. All right. So these items cost more than a dollar. Uh, this philosophy skirt, which again, I thought this would be uh, a winner. I thought this would go fairly fast, was $2. And uh, some nice little straight skirt, mini skirt. Maybe I should change the keywords to get, you know, more eyeballs. And you're looking at a, a convertible bag that I wore to my school job. And I got that from Timu. And I only wore it or carried it for maybe a month, maybe two months. And uh, I don't know if this is something, it's a Chinese brand. I don't know if this is something they would accept, but it's very, very versatile. All right. Um, I think I paid about four or $5 for this um Turtleneck by Pierre Cardin. I will never, never, ever buy another Pierre Cardin. It's a very, very slow selling brand. Now, it is a brand that the uh, the real, real accepts. But they're very particular. Like they want the 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 um, leather briefcases and the coats. So I'm not sure if this would fly with them. I haven't sent it in to them. 
but uh, maybe I should try. All right, this is Bobby Brooks, and that was on my last, um, my last um, video about the village, and I paid a dollar forty-five for that. This is coming up, Old Navy. Now I do notice that they did have um, a lot of Old Navy um, on their racks the last time that I went to um, Crossroads. So uh, this was an impulse buy. I thought it was some, something that I would wear. And once I put it in on, because in our thrift stores, they have no dressing rooms. So you have to try it on in the store. And uh, I just thought, well, you know, this might be something that um, I could wear. I didn't try it on um, in the aisle way. And uh, when I got home, I just didn't like it. Did not like it. And um, I probably could have exchanged it, uh, gone back and exchanged it, but um, I just didn't. I don't know why I didn't. They give you like three days at Savers. Anyway, they give you three days to um, exchange clothing. All right, so these are the uh, leggings that I got. And again, please refer back to my um, village rant video. So these are Old Navies and Tech Gears and it's just something that I don't normally source. I have a couple of more tech gears. I'm not going to show you that because I'm trying to keep this, keep this short. All right. If at first, first you don't succeed, try, try again. This might be my fourth try with this Margaritaville. It's a uh, resort wear. Uh, for, you know, to cover up over your swimsuit. Actually, you can wear it as a dress also. I just thought it was darling. Um, but Margaritaville, sorry, Jimmy Buffett. <laughs> they don't like you. <laughs> they don't like you in the resale world. And this is a heartbreak. I'm going to have to try to uh, really, really... offload this Masoni dress. This is Masoni and Target. I think I paid $7 for this, way too much. I didn't know about the collaboration and how the resale value was. I thought, you know, looking at the um, the the label, I said, Masoni, oh wow, you know, $7. And I know that it's a brand that is carried by The Real Real, but when I approached The Real the Real, Real about um, Accepting it, they said they don't take collabs with Target. So that did it for me. All right, guys, thank you so much again. Please give me a thumbs up button. Uh, and if anything, again, if anything sells, I will list it in the description. And I have a link to uh, my stores and my YouTube uh, channel in the description. And I really, really appreciate anybody who's stopping by to see what I'm sourcing, what I'm thrifting, what I'm trying to sell. And uh, we are going out as soon as we can get all this bundled up together and cart it down the street. And I will see you on the next one. Bye-bye.